people who just play abuse and try to do something with you. There we go. Let's get this cam off. Let's get these predictions. Get the predictions in before the battle starts, guys. Come on. We've got time here before the predictions go off. Chocolate Palace with 91% of the vote here. 9% versus YAA. This is interesting, guys. What is going to happen here before we close this? This is definitely not looking very favourable for YAA in your predictions. After that first batch up, I was actually surprised there's not going to be a big big amount of money put onto YAA so far after their first battle. Let's see what happens, guys. Let's get the predictions in quickly before we close the predictions for the start of this battle. Dude, marry him already. Jesus. <laughs> Poetic monkey. I love it. Love it. It's a shame. It's getting hot in here. It is. It's too hot in here. Got to take off all my clothes. Maybe he is. I don't know, but I am not. <laughs> we will end the submissions there. We are now underway with the battle. We'll get the predictions off. We'll Z on that map and we get in the air to see what is going on here for the sides. Call. Oh, there we go. Like we called it at the start. Any boys with their Sally out. And you know what the funny thing is about it? It is Berserkers that are sallying out. All Berserkers and some units of cavalry. That's including Keshex. But the boys from YAA are wise to it. They are coming round the side here with other units to stop their units being totally dismantled. Was this Mike's plan all along? Did, did Mike call this one? Mike's the one that's running back here. It looks like it could have been his plan all along. The Berserker push out and so far it is not looking good. It's not looking favourable. Unit wise, it's quite close with unit wise though. But we'll wait to see. Tony picks up the first kill here. It's on Zimpara. He gets the drop dead. There is plenty of heroes fighting on the point here for A. And it looks like Jason Wedd will fall down. And maybe picks up the first, that, that kill as well. Cool Death picks up a kill against Reed Drum. Lone Sword gets picked off as well. Heroes. Oh, EU boys are just rolling this one at the moment in time. The defence are down to 12. So far, YAA is capping B. Well, they also fight on A here. This is going to be interesting. The Berserker push out did not happen. It is not. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh Almighty my god. says this must be a fashionable fight. It's oh all the my. finest people. Oh my god, would you believe it? Thank you for the follow, Sin Keenan. Appreciate it. A will be getting pushed on here now. Anuk and the YA boys starting to rotate themselves around. Units are still out here. The supply point is still capped by the NA boys, but B has fell. John Ark is going straight towards C because C will be capable in a second here as well if they manage to get that B push. But Lone Sword has managed to survive on the B point. But A point is now going to be falling as well. Can we get this? Can the EU boys just fight without actually doing anything with units here? Unit wise, it is very weird. Any boys have left the battle. What is going on? Rudrum is out of the battle. He's left completely. Has Have they just gave up? What is going on here? Anouk. Anouk. Oh my god, oh my god, what is going on? The greatest lord, Jason Wood picks him off. I don't even know where to watch at this point in time. Any boys are still roaming around outside here. It is 14 heroes alive from them. Well, they're all starting to climb up on the A push here. I don't know what's. I don't know what their plan is. They're on B. They're all going up the wall on B and the rotations of units are Shame. coming around. Shame. Shame. Why are you going to take the W... Shame. Don't have good experience with the NA guys in my rank games. Ah, uh, sin. Oh, hi, Mark. Yoink. Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, hi. Do you care how you did? Right, so they're all starting to get themselves on here. YAA getting on to the B point with some units up here as the cavalry come round from the NA boys looking to try and deal as much damage as possible with Ripcats 
and Fluffy Rabbit round there trying to pick off heroes. Can they pick off a couple of the heroes on the outside with that damage and dual blades of them? Ripcats picks off Scabies. He's dead. Ripcats and then dies to Amumu. So Amumu wins that battle with dual blade. Zedris is on here getting picked off here. He'll probably die. Fluffy Rabbit dies to Zinpara. And now it looks like it is a close battle here. 12 versus 13. There's just hero fights all over the map at this point in time. Sonic Soy Krim is fighting germs over at the supply point here. And I don't even know where to watch at this point. There is just so much going on. It is it is very chaotic. It is one of the most chaotic matches we've seen so far. The defence is definitely defending the supply point. Chocolate Paladins have all their units ready. Coming back out is down to 780 units on the defence versus 730 units on the attack. 13 Trebs still available, but the fight up here is going to look a bit interesting here. As Cavalry comes outside, the boys from... Yeah, the boys are just picking off the berserkers if they can. There's a nice wee charge and brace on the on the from the palace guards on the berserkers there. The cavalry versus cavalry fight goes in favour of Scabies here. He wipes the rest of the hussars out, and now Blake is going to make his way way out onto the onto the map again. He starts to get capped here from YAA. They've already got B now. C is open as well still. But they're going to get themselves sort up, uh, set up here at YAA. It's been a weird one. A very weird start to this. Like, the Sally out with Berserkers. It's just been, it's been interesting here. I think it... Who was it that lost connection? Well, it looks like they're back in. We're back to 15. Uh, Jam said, is he out of the battle? Is he the one that disconnected? Uh, but they're down one in the attack here. Ah, no, they're not. Jam says they're live. So it's 15 versus 15. Everybody's in. It works only on random sages. Yeah, it does. It does only work on random sages for the most part. But it's quite close here. We're 755 units versus 710 units. Now it's starting to look a little bit normal on the attack. Now the A and B is gone. Now the A and B is dr done. Red Room. Red Red Drum from NA has, has, has left the battle as well. Like, I don't know what's going on with the connections here. I don't know if it's just a, a wrong introduction. It's not actually meant to have happened that way. But here you got YAA trying to find herself a position here to look at an attack on the, the siege, on the supply point here. A treb comes in that actually hits some of their own units, but it will hit the units in the background. You've got the Chevaliers there with the main Archibalists, but that doesn't really do much damage to them. Unit-wise, it's still pretty even. The left tower is now minted as well, which means one is eventually up on the wall. It says left tower is minted, but that's this one here. So they're all getting up that same tower. The other towers didn't get pushed as well. So it's all about getting yourself to the point as quickly as possible and onto the wall. Because they don't have these siege towers up from YAA. Very interesting strategy from YAA. But also a very interesting strategy from Chocolate Palins. They're sally out with all berserkers. They, well, mostly berserkers. Getting off some kills. They obviously limited the unit kills. Uh, but it's quite even for like 375 troops dead for the uh, the attackers, but only 181 for the defenders. So leadership wise, they have a better leadership cost. There's a lot more greys in that unit there for the attackers. Oh no, he's getting picked off from Kara. Now they're down to 14 on the defense. I don't know where Onomi managed to produce himself. I don't know where he went to, but you've got some units up here. It's Senji's over the wall. And Modal's defending here as well. You've got Iron Reapers in the back. Fort Abrashwood down there. They've got two ways to attack this here towards the supply point. What is going to be the plan here from YAA? Breezy's roaming around here in the back. As you can see, Blake's still roaming around as well as the dual blade. And maybe he's watching from the top of the stairs. Blake's looking. He goes in viz. He's going to try and sneak around. I don't know what he's thinking here, but Blake jumps away again. He avoids that. Ripcats is trying to do the same in the background there as dual blade. He's just trying to cause a nuisance. As you can hear, some boys charging in the back one. Jason Wedge going on the back here, trying to sneak Cap C here. But there's a couple of heroes defending YAA in the background there. They could potentially take that out. Pull out race is dead. Scabies looks like he's going to get picked off here as the push comes in to the supply point. We'll zoom into the supply point because that's where the most important part of the push is coming in here. Uh, so far... Is 14 versus 13. The attackers winning the fights here at this moment in time. But here comes a nice wee charge in here from both sides. Both different cavalry coming in. It is 12 versus 11. 
It is 12 versus 11. It make it 10 versus 11. It looks like the defenders are starting to pick off the hero kills. We're getting close. Brill and Roto from Finley Breezy's falls. Mike falls. Sloth and Rabbit Lunsword. And Zed is falls from the, def uh, the defenders. It looks like the momentum is in favour of YAA. They have the most heroes of alive here. It's double the heroes left. 10 versus 6. Fluffy uh, Holy Pardons comes in with the calf charge. Looking to stop it. And Nami does it as well from the other side. It's a pinch of cavalry. And they do quite a good job. Ripcast picks up the quad kill. It is 8 versus 5 here. Ripcaps, no quarter now. Here we go. He's turning it up here. He is starting to turn up. Onami with the brittle and rotten. Holy Paladins, Jason West are still alive. You've got the any boys having to fight for the supply point. Ripcat staying alive on the supply point as long as possible so that cap is not done as the boys start to spawn in. You're going to see spawns from both sides here coming all at the same time here. But the distance that they have to travel is where it makes a difference. Jason West is going to jump on that supply point to stop it being capped. Unit-wise, it's very even. 745 versus... Now, 475 versus 423, the boys of any defending for the most part are all coming in from that sea, uh, from the home point here. The units are going to come in. They've lost the supply point most indefinitely now. And YAA are going to start their push from the supply point. They're going to start capping C, and the boys from Chocolate Paladins have gave up C defending that, and they are defending the home point now. This is down to the home point defence. Where is it going to come from here? We're going to have about seven minutes for YA to rotate and get their units set up ready to attack the home point. Chocolate Paladins needing to get boys back into the battle and that's probably why their decision to come home and defend home come to it. It is close on unit wise. It's going to be interesting to see how this turns around. We're seeing some kills still popping up on the screen here. Zimpara and Tony PG. You see Anomi getting picked off from Sco Scabies. Scabies? I want to say Scobies all the time. I have no idea why. We're getting to pay attention to Jason West picked off by Amumu. Amumu's turning up this one round. Amumu, not entirely sure what we're like for kills, but we can have a look on this. Hero kills, Amumu. Where is he? Amumu with six hero kills. He's turned it up. He's turned it up. He, he knew he doesn't want to hear all that chat of how bad he is. Rips Cats gets picked up by Campasa. Campasa. There we go, the any boys going into the wall here. Can I have a shout out in chat here, please? For the moderators, please. That would be fantastic. Rocky TV with the raid of 327. Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much, Rocky. I really do appreciate it. It is a delay. We are sitting on 30. Thank you, thank you for that raid there, uh, appreciate it guys. Welcome over to the channel, welcome to the stream. This is CB Rivals, we are watching YAA in the second fight here versus Chocolate Powders. It's 1-0 YAA. Chocolate Powders are trying to rotate themselves out of their spawns, trying to go back and take out units all over the map here. There is numbers and people all over the place. It's 15 versus 13 so far. It's a quad dead. kill this from Jamsad. He picks up Onami here and he is going on to win it. Fluffy the Rabbit picks off Scabies and so far the unit and hero counts are in favour of the defend uh, the attackers here. We're 14 versus 14 now as Chocolate Pounders start to spawn in, but they're starting to push them back on the supply point. And if they could find a position to get in there as the Treb comes in, it is fight for the supply point here. The any boys starting to stop them from getting any further forward. They're closing that gap in terms of units, but not too much. We're going to have to get some heroes killed, but too many heroes from the any side have died there. We're down to 10 heroes alive. The boys of YAA are staying alive longer and making these Kill, uh, kills count here. They start to move. The momentum is pushing in favour of the attackers here. You can see it You're as they move on the map here. We're nine fight defenders. Fight Thank you guys for the followers. Appreciate it. Welcome to the clan. I hope you're having a fantastic Sunday evening. There we go. We start getting the YAA boys onto the home point. They have units coming in to th defend that point. As the chocolate pounders are starting to rotate in with units and heroes. There's only six of them alive though. The Treb's going to income. Breezy's units are going to move right into that Treb. But the Treb will probably miss for the most part. The last couple will hit. Maybe... One hits there, but the cap is starting to be capped. YAA in on that. 
getting the cap involved here. You've got some boys trying to rotate in the back, but it looks like hero-wise, Chocolate Paladins have nobody alive. YAA will pick up the win here, unless Blake can stop this for long enough, but very much doubt it as a dual blade. Amumu picks up the uh, bloodbath. He turned it around this match around. He definitely turned up. The defenders, as you can see, turn out on top. Uh, didn't turn out on top this time, sorry. Uh, it was the attackers, YAA, the greatest lord, picking up MVP, MVP with the three hero kills, the 110 unit kills. And Mumu turned up this time around, eight hero kills, 85 unit kills, and then six hero kills for Jamsid. You had uh, four here for Zimpara. Uh, Chocolate Paladins, great effort on it. It was close. There was just a few people, heroes dying a lot quicker, and I think that was the downfall to your defence there. Uh, you need to get more of them kills. Ripcat's picking up eight hero kills as well as a dual blade. Ch Holy Paladin, the MVP here with 68 unit kills, two hero kills. But yeah, it's definitely the hero battles that are winning these battles. For 43 lost on the defenders versus only 24 on the attackers. It's all about working together as your heroes and going on to do that fight there. You have to make sure you guys are working together. Great fight though. Uh